ceremony is named after the Great Spirit and is a Bible of the Mound Builders. From the ceremony we learn of the original purposes of various mounds with their particular designs. The meanings of certain sacred symbols are also revealed, unveiling a glimpse into the origins of ancient written codes. The original Mound Builders of North America were the sacred little people, called the Ihins, who inhabited the land alongside the tribes of men, the Ongwe, up to 3,000 years ago. The Ihins were endowed with sacred signs and symbols by which knowledge of the Great Spirit was preserved. The 12 seasons of the tablet and its ceremonies belonged to the Ihins, who would hold the ceremony and dance on the mounds at the changes of the moon. Iowata taught the Ongwe of the Great Spirit and the ways of living in peace. Essences of the teachings and practices are preserved to this day among the Native Americans in their medicine wheel with its 12 moons. This tablet is related to the Algonquin tablet. Each tablet and ceremony sheds light on the other. Here follows the tablet and ceremony of a Gokun. A Gokun said, These are my divisions for the twelve feasts of the gods of heaven. Observe them in my name, for they are my inheritance bestowed to enrich the wisdom of men. All labor is mine, says Egoquim. By my hand, all that is, moves. The earth is my footstool, and I have made it square to the north and south, east and west. Three things I made, air, earth, and water. The angle with three sides I made in remembrance of them. Three things I bestowed on man, the earth body, which is dark, and none can see through it. The spirit, which lives after the earth body is dead, the third part I gave to man is the soul, which joins him to me. The sun I made, and I set him high in the firmament so that I could see from afar and observe my earthborn children. And the lakes, forests, rivers, and caves in the earth I made for man. All that I have made is good and round, or square, according to the place I made for it. But in the very young days of the world, the impatience of men led them to not perceive me and my good works, and on their own account they set about to do my labor. And in that way evil came into the world but I separated the evil from the good. Into the four corners of the world, I separated them. To the evil, I gave the places where all is coldness and hunger, where they have invented the evil killing bow and the flint dart, destroying my living creatures. My righteous shall live in mounds of earth, stone and wood, or the Ugha cannot come upon them. But for the light of my angels to come and abide with my people, you shall provide the whole Gadol, 
the well-covered house, and it shall have only one door, and pieces shall be put in the doorway, so that when my chosen are within, all shall be dark, so that my angels may teach them. But the dwelling of the Hon Shawasi shall have one Ongjai, and he shall have a Mukagawan, the true sign of poverty, and it shall be his jewel, made of copper and gold. For whom I have made to live in poverty in this world, I will exalt in heaven. I have made only the poor to be my prophets. Over the mounds my angels shall keep watch against the evil approaching Ugha, and they shall awaken my sleeping children, and they shall not suffer. Egoquin said, Boats I have provided for the spirits of good men to rise to heaven in, and my angels shall accompany them to a place of light and rest. Egoquan said, To the priests I have given authority to make my signs and symbols, and to bestow them on my righteous children. 